Okay, so what I have here is a mostly vanilla copy of Tabby Chat. Um, and the way you get into the menu for this is hold shift and hover your mouse over this button right here in the, in the top left. While you're holding shift, you'll see what looks like an arrow and maybe two files. You'll click on that, and that's what brings you to the main menu. Okay, so the first option is Tabby Chat enabled. Obviously, if you're using it, you want to use it, you should leave that the way it is. However, if you were to uncheck that and save it, you would see that pretty much the default functionality is restored, except for the options button right here in the top left. And so you would just hold shift, click on that, and then re-enable it. Also, you can log chats to, uh, to a file in your Minecraft directory. Chat logs will be in a folder called Tabby Chat Logs, I believe. Um, so they're pretty easy to find. It'll be right in the main directory. Um, another option you have is adding a timestamp to the chat, which I like to do. And you can change the color. Usually I like to kind of make it something um, kind of, I don't know, yeah, dark gray like that. Um, like a color that I won't use normally. And then you can, you also have the option to consolidate spammed chat. And what that does is normally, let's say if a player is typing the same thing over and over again, or you have a mod that tells you the same bit of information over and over again, um, well, you can consolidate that all into one message. And then at the right of the message, it'll tell you how many times that, that particular message has been uh, sent to you. So at least you know how many times it's, it's going off without having it taking up your entire chat window, which is really nice. Um, and you can also set it so that uh, Tabby Chat will flash and alert you when there's a new notification or a new unread message. The server tab has options mainly for how Tabby Chat will look for new channels. Um, and the way that works is it offers to auto search for new channels and new private messages. Um, so if you have no manual settings configured, you can just leave that on. And um, based on the chat channel del delimiters that you have set, it'll look for um, uh, messages. So like let's say you are on a server that, well, on our server we usually have uh, angles. So it can use that to find new messages. So let's say normally uh, in our chat um, there is a prefix that's dark blue. So we can enable that option and um, you know and set that to dark blue. Um, also, if you want, um, there may be formatting. You can also set that as well. The default channels op option offers to allow you to create a set of channels separated by commas that would uh, automatically pop up whenever you join a new server. Um, and likewise, if you want to have ignored channels, you can also do the same. I tend to leave a lot of these settings off and um, stick to the manual configuration. Okay, this is the filters tab, and this is where the real meat of Tabby Chat is. Um, this is where you can set up custom filters, and what I mean by that is um, if you want to have areas where all of your whispering conversations or your private conversations are stored in one tab, you can do that. And you can have that for each person that you want or each group of people, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, also. Uh, additionally, you can have notifications for certain things that are mentioned in chat, like let's say your name. So let's say I want to create a tab for a private conversation that I'm going to have with a particular player. Um, what I can do is I'll create a new tab, and the player that I'm going to be talking to is Chancellor Music. And I'll name that tab Chance. And you can choose whether or not to hide 
matches from chat. I generally don't. Um, you can also highlight matches. That way, if you want to color code uh, a person's message, you can. So maybe we'll set him to green. And generally, you can do bold, striked, underlined, or italic for any matches to this filter, but I always go with default so I can actually read it. Um, and if you want an audio notification, you can. So there's the anvil sound. You can do that. And um, there's also the option for case sensitive. And inverse match would mean everything but what you're going to be putting in here. Uh, so we don't we don't want that for this. So in this case, uh, for a private messaging tab, we would want Chancellor Music, Whispers. And then the way that you add another filter is you want to hit the vertical line. And that's the basically the button right below the backspace on your keyboard. So hold Shift and hit that. The other uh, filter we want to add in here is now my name. So my player name is Bad Touch 3. And the way Minecraft displays whispers is it puts your name, a dash, and I think it's a, uh, a greater than sign or a less than sign. I can't remember which, which way they go. And then the person that you're talking to. So you would have something like that and then the person's name. Since this is written in Java, that little bracket right there will actually interfere with this filter. So what you do is beforehand you put a backspace. And that basically tells it that this next character is just text. It's not part of the code. And then you can go ahead and put the other person's name in. So Chancellor Music. And so when I save that, whenever he goes and sends me messages, they'll pop up in general chat and they'll also pop up in this tab. And also alternatively, or additionally, you'll have your messages uh, show up in there. That way, if you want to have a strictly one-on-one -on -one conversation that's whispering, you can do that. And what I'm showing you here is just that filter in, in application. You can hear the noise when a message goes off and you can see the tab that's strictly got messages that are whispered between Chancellor Music and me. And then it's in general chat also. Another feature that you can use with tabs is if you right click on a tab you've created it opens up a new menu for it. You can change the name or the positioning of the tab you can also decide whether or not you get notifications when there's unread messages. And the really cool setting here is you can have a chat prefix. So if I want slash tell or slash message and then the person's name, I can do that. And uh, you can also choose to hide the prefix. I generally don't, though, because it seems like um, it causes some problems sometimes when you have really long messages. But if I save that now, whenever I go to that tab, it already says Message Chancellor Music. Now let's say you want to create a custom filter that alerts you whenever a particular phrase is mentioned in the chat. Um, let's say your name. Well, you can create a new filter name it whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and put in my name. You can choose whatever you want for setting matches to tab or hiding matches from chat. And same thing for highlight matches. In this case I'll go ahead and select the color yellow and leave it at bold. And then for the audio notification you can have whatever you like. In this case I picked the anvil. And so depending on what your username is, there may be several versions of it. In my case there are, so I'll put BT3 and then I will put the vertical line. Now if I were to put my whole name in there I could put Bad Touch, Bad Touch 3 um, 
and whatever else I want. The problem with that is that every time I type, my name is displayed in chat and in the little greater than less than sign brackets. And you don't want to be notified every time you chat because that just will get annoying after a while. So what you have to do is type your name and then we're going to add an exclusion. And to do that, you want to add in parentheses, question mark, exclamation mark, and then we'll put what we're excluding. So in this case, three. Then we'll add a vertical line, and then we'll actually add bad touch three. And we'll add another exclusion. In this case, we want to exclude the bracket because now we have our full name and so the only thing for it to uh, to omit in order to not display that sound every time I type my chat would be this bracket right here okay and then you close the parentheses now when you save that whenever you chat it'll pop up normally but then if you were to mention your name it'll highlight it and it'll ring just like that another feature I'd like to mention is that um, you can send multiple lines of chat so for instance if I were to type a message that is too long instead of just stopping me you'll see here you have the number two it's just telling you how many lines you're going to send. So if we bring it all the way up to three and send it, it'll just say that we sent three messages. And finally we have the advanced tab, which isn't really that complicated, so don't panic. You have chat history. You can tell it how many lines of history to save. Um, you can set a maximum length to a channel name. That way if you have lots of them, you can have more displayed on the screen. Um, if you want to have a send delay between your uh, multiple lines of chat, you can do so. Now, you can set the unfocused height of your messages, and what that means is focused is when you hit the chat button and you have it actively open, ready to type. When a message pops up on your screen, however, indicating that someone has said something and then fades away, that's the unfocused chat. And you can set how much of the screen can be allocated for the unfocused chat. So if somebody sends you, you know, 20 messages, well, you can have them taking up the almost the entire space pretty much, or a smaller amount if you don't want your screen taken up by words. Also, you can set how long it takes before a message that's popped up will fade away. 20 ticks is one second, so 200 ticks is about 10 seconds. Um, and then also, the last option we have here is Force Unicode Rendering. This is mainly aesthetic. If you save it, you'll notice that it uses this default font, and that's basically because um, Minecraft and other various texture packs will use their own custom fonts. If you just want one font across the board, you can do that. So yeah, I think that's that's all I want to show you guys today. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments, and take care.